Hey, welcome back to another update of my Canadian dividend investing portfolio. So if you're new to the channel, what I'm doing here is I'm just investing in Canadian dividend stocks. So far, everything is on the Toronto Stock Exchange, and I'm using Wealth Simple Trade, which is a great Canadian broker to be using to buy and sell stocks. And I'm tracking all of my progress here with this custom Google Sheet that I made. So there's links in the description below for the Google Sheet and also for Wealth Simple Trade. If you'd like to get $10 for trying that out, you can use those links down below the video. Um, but let's take a look at what's going on here. So, so far I have invested $17,400 of my own money and my stock value is currently at $19,566. So in this video, I'm just going to show you because I have actually already spent this uh, cash that I have and I'm just going to kind of walk through my thought process on that. But basically I am up $2,400, which is incredible. That's about a 14% gain all time in the last kind of 10 months or so that I've been at this. And um, all of the stocks that I'm buying have a dividend yield, and so the average weighted yield of all of the stocks together, um, which you can kind of get a little idea here of the tickers if you're familiar with these, and also show you in the next screen what some of these are. Um, but we're looking at 3.7%, and so what that means is for every $100 basically that I have invested in this pie with this even distribution, or with this distribution, um, basically every year I can expect to get three dollars and seventy cents paid out to me in dividends that's the current rate this changes it goes up and down and it generally likes to grow over time um, but so does the stock prices so it stays around you know three to four percent for me but basically with the current value that i have in these stocks times this rate um, that means that i'm looking at about 723 dollars in passive income per year this is tax-free because it's all in my tax-free savings account and that works out to be around 60 dollars per month but yeah, let's um, take a look in the portfolio. We can get a quick idea of all of my stocks. I just have them organized right now in alphabetical order. I kind of switch it around however I feel, um, you know, depending on the day. But you can take a look at some of the ones that I have in here. As usual, the renewable energy companies are the only ones that are in the red lately, but they're actually starting to climb back up. At one point, I was down like 15% almost, I think, in some of these. Maybe not quite 15, maybe like 12%. Um, and they're just kind of climbing back up again. I have purchased a little bit of them, which affects that. But um, overall, that's nice to see them going back up. I like to see stuff in the green, even though I do also like to buy stocks when they're in the red, um, basically because I can buy the dividend that they're providing for a lower price and reduce my average price in that position. But when I was looking earlier today at which stocks to buy, um, I was just kind of cruising through here. And also I was just really looking in this extra sparklines tab, which is loading a little bit slowly. Um, for some reason, some of the stocks here are not connecting super well right now. Um, but anyways, some of the ones were and I actually like setting this to two years lately and just kind of scanning around, seeing what we can get. And I was looking down here at MRU, which is a grocery chain. Um, I've done really well with Lobla. Let's see if I can pull it up here. Yeah, so Lobla has like just shot up. This is one of the main supermarket chains that I hold. MRU has not experienced that, but they do track a little bit similarly. And so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to put in a little bit more into MRU. They have a pretty nice dividend growth rate as well. And I don't mind getting into some more consumer focused products and stocks. So I did pick up some of these and I also picked up some Manuai Financial because again, they're experiencing a little bit of a decline right now. I'm not sure if it's a dip or just a start of a downward run. Um, but either way, I was just thinking that a lot of the stocks right now are like shooting up quite high. And um, and that was a good buy for me today. I also looked here at Pizza Pizza, um, PZA. This is a really high yield stock. And actually, let's switch into Wealth Simple Trade and take a quick look at some of these guys. So Pizza Pizza is one that I purchased. This is what I just put like the leftover cash that I had in my account. And you can see here that they've got a really solid dividend yield of almost 6%. And they just own a couple pizza chains. I actually got Pizza 73 yesterday and i was thinking about it and i remembered that i hold this share and i was like yeah honestly this is really good pizza i'm just gonna get some more and um i just but you'll see in a second i bought i think six shares which is what was, what was the leftover and i don't mind bringing up my yield i don't want to put too much into this company because it is a little bit uh dodgy here with this overall downward trend in the last five years but um yeah i just didn't mind doing that and then we can take a look here at mru and so this is Metro. Um, if you're not familiar with them, this is a supermarket chain as well. They have a much lower yield at 1.60%, but a little slightly more promising upward trend here of up 30% in the last five years instead of down 30% in the last five years. 
Uh, so I'm not as concerned putting money into them as I am with Pizza Pizza, but we'll see. I think that dinner that I had yesterday really influenced my decision. Um, and the other one was um, Manulife, which is MFC. So if you're not familiar with this company, this is like a big insurance guy uh, at financial services company. We're in this little dip or downward cycle. We'll see. And you can just kind of pause here and get an idea of what's going on in here. So pretty nice yield. Um, nice financials and a little bit about this company. So what I did here is I had about that, I think it was like $260 or something. And so I did buy, what was it? It was the two shares of MRU at $58.85 each. And then three shares of MFC, um, they were $24.90. And then with the leftover cash that I had, I had 75. So about seven shares of Pizza Pizza. So let's jump back into the Google Sheet and take a quick look again at what the values were in the summary page. And actually when I'm looking here, I'm noticing this is a little bit lower than it should be. So I'm just gonna come into here and check in the portfolio tab and just quickly scan the annual dividends. And I notice here that we've got a zero for Transalter Renewables and a zero for Manulife Financial. Um, now this is actually automatically pulling in and being generated from another website. So I'm just gonna refresh the page to see if I can clear that. And yeah, now that it's been refreshed, let's take a look here. Manulife Financial, yeah, we're seeing 112 here. And for Transalta Renewables, 94 cents. So that is correct. There are no zeros here. I'm expecting none of these to be zeros. So sometimes if you're using the sheet or if you're importing values into Google Sheets from an external source, you do just have to take care sometimes to check that they are actually being pulled in correctly. And sometimes if you had like a bad Wi-Fi connection or something like that, or just need to refresh the page, that can clear the errors. So anyways, looking here, yeah, this looks a little bit more like what I was expecting. And actually, I think at the beginning of the video, I didn't realize, but those numbers were affected. So yeah, this is usually I'm closer to 4%. Um, so disregard the intro to this video. Um, I am sitting at 3.93%. We're looking at $768 in 769 basically and uh, 64 in, in per month in income. So what we don't need to do now is just go into the transactions tab and I just need to log these transactions that I did with the three companies. And so that was TSE MRU, we had TSE MFC, and we had TSE PZA. And today is June 10th, 2021. So that was the same for all of them. June 10th, 2021. All right, and so for MRU, I had purchased two shares at a price of $58.85, and this is exactly what I saw in Wealth Simple Trade. So, and then with Manulife Financial, I had $24.90. Yo, that's not the right place. <laughs> I bought three at a price of $24.90, exactly. And then here I bought seven at a price of $10.72. I paid no trading commissions and I did pay in Canadian dollars, so we can bring that down. And then I just want to double check that the totals here are correct as well. I have 7504, 7470, and 117 Those are the values that we're also displaying in Wealth Simple Trade, which is always good to check to make sure that you don't have any errors. Anyways, once you have those in, once I have those in, I'm just going to come back here and take a look and see what has changed. So my average yield has basically been not affected because the difference isn't big enough. But my dividend income has increased from 769 up to 778 so we're up about ten dollars per year or something like that and then you can also here see here that we're up just under a dollar a month so that's awesome um might not seem like a lot but to me it's great um that's just pure passive income that i'm going to be using to reinvest into more and more stocks and really build up this compound investing uh compounding interest effect or the dividend snowball because i'm investing my own money and this money now is getting invested too and that's just fantastic and hopefully we can get this kind of curve just going way out of control over the next couple of years and decades so anyways guys i think that's all i've got for you for this video and stay tuned if you've watched this far i've got a big surprise for you guys next week um so hope to see you then and uh, see what kind of big news i can be sharing with you guys so yeah anyways if you like the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it and leave a comment down below if you like this video just let me know maybe what you've been investing in this week or something that you've been watching so anyways guys have a great weekend and i'll talk to you later